a little bit around the rim, well below right, league right. average, but he is brilliant everywhere else. They missed him in that first round against the Denver Nuggets as Patrick Beverly gets the Clippers their first hoop. Just watch this ball pressure. They're going to put Beverly, who's all over Mitchell. Rudy comes out to break him loose, gets the steal. Joe runs after him, and Beverly with a breakaway bucket. Just watch this ball pressure. They're going to put Beverly, who's all over Mitchell. Rudy comes out to break him loose, gets the steal. Joe runs after him, and Beverly with a breakaway bucket. Just watch this ball pressure. They're going to put Beverly, who's all over Mitchell. Rudy comes out to break him loose, gets the steal. Joe runs after him, and Beverly with a breakaway bucket. And a timeout. I'm still looking for an assist here. Pat Beverly has both buckets, but defensively they look on point. Three by Reggie Jackson. There's the first assist, and the Clippers lead seven to three. Clippers squad over the last couple of weeks. They play with a lot of heart. Brian, as good as their record is and what they've accomplished so far, it's kind of interesting when you look at some of the stats. We'll see Donovan Mitchell. I mean, we have talked about his defense and his offensive rebounding more than I can remember. Right into the hands of Beverly. Clippers do have numbers if they push. Jackson. Finds a wide open Lou Williams for three. Clarkson moves to his left, walled off by man. Good possession defensively for the Clippers. Mitchell gonna try to bail him out. Runs down the lane off the window, not there. And the rebound tapped over to Beverly. Attempt by any means. That was a lob intended to get over the defenders, knowing that Zoo was behind him and he was big enough to catch and finish. Clarkson. Rebound smothered by Beverly. Defeats a Zubach with a two handed rebound, and here come the Clippers. Coffee gives it back to O'Neal and then Beverly deflects it out of bounds and they're going to say a foul on Beverly in transition. One of the things you look at is points in the paint between these two teams. Lou pulling up, stopping and popping, stepping to above the foul line area. When he's in that painted area, you must put your body up against him so he can't get that second shot opportunity out of bounds. Back foot, Patrick Beverly stepping on the line. The records with and without him. The numbers with and without him. 50% against second best defensive team in the NBA. One out of two for Patrick Beverly. Morris lobs to Ibaka. Deflected by Bogdanovich. Great defensive play for Utah. Some of these have just been bad decisions. But to be honest, a lot of these turnovers have been caused by the center position. And Rudy Gobert intimidating a lot of players around the rim. Second shot opportunities, you get fouled very often, so you go to the line to pick up extra points. Starts right there at the defensive end. We've got Coffey in a breakaway, stripped from behind by Niang, a whistle and a foul. Patterson never went up for the fake. Late in the clock, a whistle and a foul away from the basketball after about 20 really good seconds of defense. That's the bigger number than the percentage, the fewer threes that you give up. In this day and age, as Beverly gets a clean look and knocks it down. Pat Beverly is also one of those league leaders.